The story popped in my brain uh, when we're having these conversations here. I think this is the ultimate metaphor for progressive ideology tearing down our past, tearing down wisdom, and, and to quote our guest earlier from the National Association of Scholars, tearing down uh, truth. And this is just the perfect metaphor for it. So a couple years ago, Rachel Maddow was walking through, or walking in an auditorium in uh, Harvard Medical School. And she looked up and she said, what's up with the dude wall? There's a wall covered with portraits of scientists from the university, from Harvard University Med School, who have won either the Nobel Prize or the Lasker Award. Lasker Award is a, a prestigious award for med, med, med medicine. And it was all men, 30 paintings, 30 paintings, 30 men. And a female, so is Rachel Maddow, what's up with the dude wall? All right. So there's a female neurobiologist who is there who said that the wall is imposing. And I think every institution needs to ask, what kind of message are we sending? It sends the message every day when you walk by it that science consists of only old white men. Man, you, you, ooh, mm, you are a, mm, I don't want this to sound rude, you are a sick person. And I, I mean that like you're infected. You're infected with a disease, a disease of your mind. If you see a wall of portraits of amazing scientists who have, who have achieved amazing things, advancements in medicine, who have saved countless lives through their research, and all you see is white men, <laughs> that's what you see when you see that wall, and you of all people, you're a neurobiologist. You know those people out there. I don't even know them, but I can assume like they must have done imp impressive things and I can kind of make things up. You know those men. You can know what they did. Makes sense to you. And you still just see white man? Man, if that's you, your mind and your heart is infected with, with uh, uh, the, well, it's a progressive secularism and victimhood. Just progressivism. How you, you can't look at that wall and see the achievements of these men and instead think, I'm going to work hard so that one day my picture will be up on that wall. That's not you. Instead, it's, no, tear them all down. we got to take them down. It's so imposing, which is like a weird thing, too. It's like, uh, 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 I am woman, hear me roar. Oh, it's imposing, right? <laughs> it doesn't make, like, I'm a feminist. I'm strong. I'm a strong woman. Oh, but I can't bear to look at the wall of men. Protect me. So schools are doing that including Harvard Medical School, and only one person publicly uh, 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 argued against it. This is the former dean of the Harvard Med School. He took a picture of the wall now. He says, when I lectured in this auditorium, when I last lectured in this auditorium, the walls were adorned with portraits of prior luminaries of medicine and surgery, connecting us to a glorious past. Now it's all gone. I hope everyone's happy. I'm not. And neither were those I asked, but they were afraid to say openly. Sad. But isn't that just like the segment, was the, it was the opening segment, right? We, talked to, we, uh, we went from Notre Dame to La Centre Pompidou, right? It's the, same, it's the same degeneration, it's the same rot. And to go from that wall with the portraits on it to the empty wall, and to call that progress, you see the metaphor, right? But it's everywhere. Statues, murals. Uh, remember the mural? Remember the story? And it was in San Francisco, George Washington High School. There's this, these beautiful murals of George Washington, all these other things, and we had to we had to take that down. We had to paint over that at the cost of like our, like two million dollars or something. It doesn't make any sense. They go to Home Depot for fifty bucks, buy enough paint to cover up the mural, but it costs like a quarter of a million for the school district in San Francisco. Uh, but the Betsy Ross flag, like it's all over the place. So what the heck is going on here? This is Rod Dreyer. I like Rod a lot. He's a thoughtful guy. He said, the kind of people who remove photographs of medical institutions past greats because those greats are white men are making a fundamentally religious decision. They're purifying the temple. The 
problem is the temple of the world can never be fully purified. It will not stop with the photographs removed. The cycle of purga pur purgation and purification will continue until they have built utopia, which of course is an impossible goal. This pseudo-religious madness will not be stopped until those who recognize for what it is, you and me, put a stop to it. They will destroy every institution until they are stopped. The end game for them is not finding a more just way to live together amid our common human brokenness. It's about identifying and purging the body politic of the transgressors. And if we don't stop it, it'll all be torn down. And we, don't, we won't know where we've been and we won't know where to go. We'll be lost and aimless. We'll be without identity and purpose and we'll be anxious. And I'd argue that we see that all over the place today in our culture. Progressives, they whine and complain. A couple people in charge cave. And that's it. No one speaks up. We do. You do. <laughs>